Hello everybody, Skid here. Welcome back to Deltarune. Uh, we left off exploring this little town. I thought it was close to the end of the game, but there's just so- Man, there's so much to do in this little bitty thing. So we're gonna continue exploring. Hey, look at all- uh, Look at all these characters I recognize. You're alive. Nice. I'm working. Okay. Uh, we'll take the special, and do you have any edible glitter? The youngest one won't eat anything if it doesn't look like treasure. I like the vibe of the waitress here. Maybe I should sign up too. Nah, serving drinks wouldn't really suit a fire elemental. If I got nervous, I'd just melt all the ice. So for you two girls, that'll be the crepes, a cinnamon latte, two bunny parfaits, and a piece of firewood? Ice Wolf does not like ice in drink. Ice Wolf likes ice to be drink. Looking at my rugged body, you must wonder what kind of secrets I hold. My secret is I put all my leftover pancakes in this giant hat. Hey there, haven't seen you in a while, hon. I remember back on Sundays after service, you and your family would come in and order the special. Of course, things happened and then y'all stopped coming together. But every Sunday, you and your brother would still come in. He'd order you a hot chocolate. And you two would sit down at that table in the corner, drawing shapes in the window with your breath. You must really miss him, huh? Here, how about this? Chris got the hot chocolate. On the house, huh? Hot chocolate. Topped with homemade marshmallows and the shape bunny. By the way, I noticed that the menu is like old school right now. Weapon, Halloween pencil, armor, bandage, money two. Hold on, sell, call home. Chris, honey, what is it? What? No, I am not giving you a ride home. <laughs> Mom! Our house is not far, it is just at the top of the town. Try walking, it builds character, honey. Click. Uh, I don't know what to. Uh, okay, what? Ice me up! Ice me up, boss! Okay. Oh. Would you be interested in trying some of our mini 24 Pezza flavors? We got normal, cheese, ice, gravity, or gra gravy. Gravity. Gravity flavor. Fuck's sake. Gravy. Double ice. Peperonis. And more. Stop on down at Icy's Pezza. The entrance is locked, no one's inside. Seems like all the employees are outside in costume. Ice Ease Pez Peas I don't know, Peza? I don't know. Your number one spot for piping hot Peas of Pez Jesus Christ. The wordplay. Here at Ice Ease Pisa, your family is going to love it. Oh god, someone's actually here. Uh Icy's Pezza, your number one spot for piping hot piece of Pezza. H hey, wait a second. I recognize you. Oh! <laughs> Little buddy, it's me! <laughs> Wanna chat for a minute before I lose my mind? Do you know when Azzy's coming home? You, you can't tell him this, but I really miss the guy. It'd be sweet to cruise around town like the old times. Picking up, for example, chicks. Which, as a matter of course, may not have ever actually happened. But one time, one time, made eye contact with me. Oh, the faces are even worse in this game! What in the world? Fucking burger pants. While she was writing me a speeding ticket. Hey, little buddy, what's up? Ah, yes, little buddy. Good idea. Meet the Rogues Gallery. Blue ears, soft serve obsessed, no concept of personal space. Keep accidentally pouring slushies on me and giggling. The Warrior, thankfully absent due to pizza-related injuries. Constantly terrorizing customers with war chants. Purple guy, man, that guy, you gotta... 
Actually, does that not even work here? Ah, my co-workers, where would I be without them? A happy place, little buddy. A much happier place. Make no mistake, little buddy. I see pizza as hell. I can't slack off for seconds without hearing, Be a team player! There's no I in Pezza! Yes, there is! You just took it out! <laughs> but it's okay, little buddy. I've been saving up to go to college for as he is. Then I'll get a theater degree, become a famous actor, and let the fangirls roll in, little buddy. <laughs> I've missed that guy. I wonder what it used to say up there on the store sign. Hey, look who's walking around. How are you, kid? Great to see you again. Yeah, it's real nice, isn't it? Especially considering I've never met you before. The name's Sans. Sans the Skeleton. I'm new in town. What's up? Behind me? Yeah, that's the grocery store. Unfortunately, it's closed. What a pain. I really wanted to buy some milk. Someone ought to complain to the guy who runs it. What's up? We just moved here, so I hardly know anyone. Why, got anyone I should know better? Uh... Me. Whoa there, Tiger. You can't just jump straight into friendship. It takes time. Alright, that's enough time. Take this. Call it whatever you feel like. Hey, I got Sans's number. Nice. What's up? Uh, my teacher? Alphys, yeah, I know about her. Came into the store with a suitcase and sunglasses. Thought she was part of the mob. She opened the case and stuffed it full of instant noodles. Paid in small bills then slunk out of the place, pajamas trailing on the floor. Anyway, our relationship is uh, purely business, so uh, I guess I'll just let her do her thing. What's up? Alright, well let's do the last one, I guess. Your mother, huh? Too late. I already befriended your mom last night. Oh. She's great. Came to the store to buy chocolate kisses. Ah, oh, nice. Said she's got to lock her door to stop you from meeting him. <laughs> you sound like a fun kid, huh? Alright, thanks, Sans. Hey, bud. Are you busy tomorrow? I need some help with something. It'd be great if you could come over. I live just next door, you know. Sure. Wow, you were del deliberating for a while. Gee, what's wrong? Don't want to hang out with a stranger. Well, I guess I shouldn't complain. Huh? What are we going to be doing? Oh, I'm not going to be there. That'd be weird. It's just going to be you and my little brother. He needs friends. Thanks for hanging out with him. See ya. Knock, knock, knock. No response. But the distant chisel of bones. Are you the human that lives at the top of town? Wow, my mommy told me about you. Does it hurt to be made of blood? Huh, that sounds like the knock of a beginner. Come back when you've gotten better at not... I don't know, it's the knocking dude from Snowden. Damn. Yo, Chris, you survived Susie, haha. <laughs> I mean, I never saw her beat anyone up, but I'd be careful. Like, one time me, Snowy, and Jockington were playing handball, and she just kept creepily watching us from the corner. Then, when the ball rolled over to her, she just, uh, froze solid and, and kicked the ball as hard as she could right into Officer Undyne's car. Then Undyne came out, smiling, cracked her knuckles, and totally wiped us at handball. Anyway, Susie sucks, Chris. Haha. <laughs> no, she doesn't. Susie's awesome. <laughs> what have we got here yet? Yeah, Susie's great, yeah. Whoo, you're lucky, Chris. You got to miss class with Alphys. It's not fair. Ha ha ha. If I skipped class, my dad would never let me hear the end of it. Ha ha ha. That's actually not even remotely funny. Ha ha ha. 
Don't do it. It's really gonna hurt your face. We don't have arms, you know. Hold on. What? What did I tell you about knocking on the door so hard, Snowy? Whoa! Uh, oh, Chris. Chris, you're okay. I... I was really worried when you didn't come back. Where did you go? Did you skip class? Well, well don't worry about it. I'm their cool teacher, you know. You're not in trouble. Well, well, let me know if you need anything. It's a dirty trash can. Of course, Alphys likes to hang out near the trash. Oh, Chris, did, did you want to talk about something? Oh, these flowers? They're from your dad. He he always asks how you're doing in school. Then he gives me a bouquet of them. Actually, that he always gives me flowers. Really makes me wonder if he if he l likes if, if he l likes the awesome comics I lent to him. Honestly, he kind of reminds me of a superhero, Chris. He's huge and could kick my ass. Chris, even though you never got the chalk, you deserve an award for trying so hard to find it. So in return, I can let you borrow, um, my, my homemade DVD collection of symptoms. Y you know, the sitcom about the middle-class monster family? It's got every episode in all 28 seasons. It's the funniest, most quotable show ever. But make sure you don't watch past the sound that since they rebooted in The Simpsons too. They started you know, driving and fight, fighting giant giddy demons. The main problem about it is that they kind of lost the focus. I can't. St she won't stop. Oh my God! Please, it's Alphys, calm down. On the other side of the, wouldn't the gravitational field just? Huh? Oh, you don't want to watch it? That's okay, Chris. Saucer? Oh, the saucer of milk? It's for my kitty, Mew Mew. She's a perfect angel. Huh? What does she look like? Well, I've never actually s seen her, but if ever since I started putting out milk, it's been disappearing. S so I'd like to think that there's a cat. M my cat. If you ever need help with homework, my offers sours are in this disgusting alley. <laughs> Tell your mom I said hi. <laughs> All right, Alphys. Later. Now I'm a I'm afraid. If I go up, will it like continue the story, or should I go down into that place where there was no music? Well, I guess I could explore here too. Oh, hi, Chris. Did you need help with your homework again? I know you were having trouble last time, so, um... I actually got a few things ready for you, in case. Uh, wait, sorry, I can't right now. I forgot my house key again, and... Sorry, Chris, I'll help you later, if that's okay. See you at school, Chris. Um, Chris? Did you want to talk about something? Let's talk about Susie. Susie, that's right, you were with Susie. When you didn't come back to class, I was worried, but... Everything turned out okay, I think. Um, Chris, can I ask you something, if that's okay? Susie, I'm kind of curious what she's like, you know? I mean, who doesn't wonder about her? She never talks to anyone. So, Chris, could you tell me about her, if that's okay? She's nice, eats chalk, terrible, or dot dot dot. She's nice. What? She's a nice person? Really? L like, really? Honestly? Truly? I mean, that's just what I was hoping, but... Wait, this isn't another trick, is it, Chris? Like, when you put ketchup on your arms and told me it was blood? Really? You're serious. You're totally serious. Gosh, then maybe I should try talking to her. But if I die, you're paying for my funeral, Chris. No, honestly, if she's nice, I might die too. Key? Huh? Why don't I ask my mom for the key? I mean, um, I, you know... She doesn't like it when I bother her when she's working. Don't worry, okay? I'll just go over to the caddies. Anything? Um, Chris, are you feeling alright? Normally you're not so talkative. Oh, I don't mean to sound like something's wrong with you. Um, Chris, is something wrong? Why did you go to the hospital to see my dad? 
I mean, I'm sure he appreciated it, but, um, gosh, I'm sorry, Chris. Forget I said anything. I love their, I love their, um, fl their doormat. Little Chrissy, like, what's up? Give Aunt Caddy a hug. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> the face. Haha, <laughs> I'm not even actually your aunt. Oh my god, can I talk to you about something? Actually, like, anything, though, your choice. Sure, let's talk about Azrael. Oh my god, Azrael, like, what a cutie pie. Do you remember when he, me and him went to the dance? That was, like, the best night ever. Even though I spilled the entire punch bowl all over him and danced inappropriately right in front of your mom and got arrested in the parking lot for making a scene. Haha, <laughs> that was so much fun. Tell him I said hi. All right, where's your sister? Oh, how's Caddy doing? I have no idea. We like totally can't connect at all. Yesterday I asked if she wanted to hear me play the ukulele. She said no, and then she like told me my playing is an anti-blessing from the planet hell. What the heck, Chrissy? That's so cute. I love my fricked up little sis. Like, that green girl next door? Oh my god, Chrissy. She's like my life villain. Like, the other day, I went to see the Cat Petters 2, and the only other person in the theater was her. Then I went to QC's and ordered the Cat Pacino, and she, like, was already drinking one. She's such a copycat. Uh, copygator? Copysaurus? Cropodile? IDK, she sucks. <laughs> Hey, neighbor baber, when's your brother Doug gonna come by? <laughs> oh no. Is, is this supposed to be a reference to Doug? The TV show? It looks like Mr. Dink from the TV show Doug. Kinda. <laughs> My girls would love to see him. He's a sweet little man. He's just got one problem. He doesn't like my wife's cooking. What's wrong, Douglas? You don't like frozen cat food? <laughs> There, I did my best impression I could possibly do of Mr. Dink. I hope that was good. Aw, Chris, like, if you want to come in, our cat flap is, like, always open to you. Oh, hey, look! There's some kind of scratchy noise coming from inside. Look who it is. Chrissy, like, long time no see! What's up? Did you want to talk about something? Ugh, that chicken is door drives me nuts. I keep seeing her everywhere I go. She's a total copycat. Like, why though? She doesn't realize she'll never be me. Honestly, her whole family is like so trashy. What's her sister serving a coffee? And I swear it was the half cat fur. Like, get a hairnet girl for like your whole body. Oh, that's no way to talk to your almost sister-in-law. Nah, I'm joking, but like, remember that time I played Truth or Dare with Azzy? I like, made him give me his first kiss? Then your mom found out he kissed someone, and like, I think she basically dialed 911. I swear your family went to church like, every single day that week. Remember that time you wanted to hang out with the big kids? I was like, yeah, of course, just get us some burgers. Then like, amazingly, you something shit. I passed it. So I told you to go back and get some french fries too, then a dozen miniature cakes. They were so good. I ate like six, <clears throat> and then I like suddenly got so sick I had to go home. Man. So like, anyway, Chris, are you busy? I am very busy. Later. <gasps> Is this Napster Bloke? Napster Bloke. Uh, I'm afraid no one's home right now, darling. Now, why don't you prance on home? I'm telling you, they're not home right now. Ah, uh, you just wanted to talk to me? My apologies, beautiful. I'm afraid I'm a bit of a nobody. I'm telling you, they're not- oh, it's just a repeat. Aw. Flowered. <gasps> <gasps> dum de dum Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy, how can I... Oh, Chris. Oh, oh it's so cute! 
Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot if you don't like hugs like that. Well now, make yourself at home, Chris. You can help yourself to anything you like. Say, Chris, I was thinking, perhaps when Azrael comes home, we could all go to the diner, just like old times. My treat. Doesn't that sound yummy? Man, I love Asgore. He's awesome. Whoa, Asgore, what are you doing over there? Oh, look at the flowers! It's a purple flower, protected in a container. It's a cyan flower. It's a blue flower. It's a golden flower, protected in a container, dot dot dot. Yes, these flowers are still kicking. Quite hard to take care of them in this climate. It's a small TV. On top are some superhero comics. Rusty fridge with some photos. Oh, Chris, if you're hungry, uh, help yourself to anything you want. I want to see the photos. A photo of your mother and father on their wedding day. She's holding a bouquet of seven flowers. A reindeer-looking monster stands nearby in a tuxedo. They all look happy. There's some dirty fur stuck in the drain. It's a dirty watering can. It's a door. It's locked. It's an air mattress. It's certainly not king-sized. Chris, do you want to sleep over? You could use that air mattress, if, and I could uh, use those bags of soil. Perhaps not. Oh, okay. Say, Chris, I was thinking, perhaps when Azrael comes home, we could all go to the diner. Okay, got it. Alright. See you later, Dad. What? Oh, Chris, before you go. Here, for your mother. Our secret. You got the bouquet of flowers. Aw. What a sweet guy. Have a great day, Chris. It's your dad's truck. The floor of the front seat is littered with old papers and country CDs. Country CDs, huh? Oh! I recognize you two. Nothing better than hanging out at the lake with my best bro. Watching the waves go by. True. this way and see what it's locked okay so I guess I guess I'm actually glad I came down here just to just Here we go. Welcome home, honey. Did you have fun with your friend today? By the way, I just finished baking a pie. If you go to bed, it will be cool when you wake up. But do not eat it all this time, all right? This TV doesn't seem to even be plugged in anymore. Chris? What is it, honey? Flowers! Oh, Chris? Flowers? For your mother? How sweet! These are from him, are they not? Uh, well, worry not, Chris. I will find some place for them. Aw, oh, don't be mad. 
get back together with that with the uh, Asdor. Come on. Me, Chris, honey, you have grown up so much. Someday soon you'll be going off to university as well. Remember when you were little? You asked when your horns were going to grow in. So we bought that headband with the little head horns on it. Oh, you wore it for months. Whatever happened to it? Remember that video game you and Azrael used to play? What was it called? Super Smashing Fighters? When he was very little, he loved the green lizard from that. We even had a birthday party for him themed around it. Your father painted all the eggs with spots as decorations. <laughs> a little green lizard, huh? Yoshi? Oh, your brother loved it. Until the next day, your father cooked them all for breakfast. <laughs> your brother just kept crying. Ever since, he's hated that book about eating green eggs. It's a landline phone, but you have already have a cell phone. Let's call Sans. Hello. You have reached the hotline for idiot babies. The hotline for idiot babies. Please press 1 for idiots, 2 for babies, 3 for idiot babies, and 4 for none. 3 it is. Ah, you're an idiot baby? To tell you the truth, I'm one too. Let's try our best, okay? <laughs> Click. Thanks, Sans, for the hotline for idiot babies. So, butterscotch cinnamon pie. Still coolin'. It's a book of hymns. See the seat cupboard, there's a can of Icy's Cool Boys Body Spray. Spray for the boys, flaming hot pizza flavor. Seems to be almost entirely full. It's a toilet. Flush it? Yes. You flush the toilet! Yay. On the shower ledge, there's a small container of apple scented shampoo. And a gallon sized container of pet shampoo. Mm hmm. Need that pet shampoo. Many books, tales of snails, storybook snails do not have tales of scientific. Oh wait, I already read all these, didn't I? Yes, I already read those. Yep, there we are. Eight. Oh, never mind. Okay. It's only you. Door's locked. We're gonna go to bed then. I don't know. If you go to bed, this chapter of your adventures will end. If you go to bed? I wish I could save! You will sleep later. I want to... I, I don't... No. I don't want to... Yet. I, I want to... What's up? No, tell me about this number that you... Leave. Oh, you got something better to do? Me too. Anyway, I'll be standing in here doing nothing. I tried this house. It says, knock knock. No response but the distant trussel of bones. I don't think, I think Papyrus is supposed to be in here, but you don't ever get to see him. Back again? My, you are active today, aren't you? Are you not? Perhaps you can use some of that energy to wake up on time. Your brother cannot carry you to school anymore, you know. Thanks, Mom. Guess... Oh, shoot. Whoa. Okay. Well, here goes.
you decided to go to bed. Whoa. Hey, cool. Fuck you too, game. I mean, it did say at the beginning of the game that none of, like, nothing matters. <laughs> My choices don't matter. When the light is burning low And the shadows start to grow And the places that you know Seem like fantasy There's a light inside your soul that's still shining in the cold with the truth, the promise in our heart. Don't forget, I'm with you in the dark. To be continued in chapter two. What did they possibly do? And it closed. All right, cool. Well, um, fudge. I hated that. That was a shitty game. What an awful fucking game that was. I'm just kidding. It was actually really good. I really enjoyed that game a lot. Uh, <laughs> the ending, like, I, I don't know. I kind of saw it coming in a way. Because it looked so much like Kara to begin with, and I was like, "Well, I'm making all these choices." And like the very beginning of the the freaking game, it was like, "Oh, none of your choices will matter." And I was like, "Okay, cool, thanks." But I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens in chapter two. Maybe maybe there's some like big twist that we're that we uh, are not expecting. Whenever it comes out, like my chat is saying, you know, even uh, Toby Fox doesn't know when the next one will release because it was just something he's kind of working on by himself. I liked it though. I I liked the character. I really liked uh Ralse. Very cute character. Um Susie too. I, my two favorite characters in the whole game are Susie and Ralse. I love them so much. Such cute little characters. I want to draw them both now. I drew Ralse for like my uh my uh thumbnail for YouTube. But I want to draw Susie too. Really really fun. You can move the heart when it's in the cage. Oh, that's kind of cool. I didn't know that. I didn't try that. Um, I'm sure there's some kind of secret I missed, like, uh, because I actually never did go and open that, uh, one card door, like, in the beginning of the game. I know that there was supposed to be some kind of hint in the castle, and I never went back and opened it. So, that's something that I missed. Um, and I want to try and, I don't know, I'll have to look up and see if there's any other secrets. I don't want to look up any spoilery things. But if there's some secrets that I missed, then I definitely want to try and find them at, uh, myself at some point. I don't know if I'll record it, but, you know. There's a secret boss? Oh, there's a secret boss. That's right. I, I did hear about a secret boss. Um, but, yeah. I'm not too worried about that. That being said, I really enjoyed the game. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play it for the first time, seeing my reaction to it. Uh, this is Skid. I'll see all of you guys next time.